Hello YouTube, today another video, and today I'm going to show you how to add add-ons to your views. In the last video we've created a few views and we will continue on from there. So let's open the views.yaml file once again and you'll see that there are already some add-ons on some views. But for the sake of this tutorial we'll just add new add-ons to the uh, empty views and let's start over here by adding the add-ons line. So this will tell the view that it wants to use add-ons. So next up you'll look at the add-ons page on my repository and you'll select an add-on that you want to use. <coughs> and I will click on something simple. You will see that there are two kinds of configuration. So the first up is the stack configuration. It is the top part of the documentation. This defines a title. It defines how many columns should be in a stack. It can set some configuration globally for all the cards within this stack and the entities themselves. It is where you will define the add-on itself. These are the options for the add-on themselves. So it might be a bit confusing. I'm going to show you how to do this. So for this tutorial we'll take the button card. It is a very very powerful card but I'm going to show you something simple. So let's click on button and once again you'll see the top part which has a stack config. It also has a few uh, requirements which I will skip for now but you'll have to do them uh, for you uh, to have some features work. Uh, but for now we'll just focus on the title stuff, uh, the stack configuration and the button configuration. So go back to your views.yaml file and define it as button as that is the name of the button. You can see up here this is the name of the add-on and that's how we're going to define it. So next up we need to define it as a list. So inside of the button we want a title called buttons and then we'll add entities we can skip all of these because they're not a requirement but entities is a requirement so we'll go on for that one and this will create a stack with a title called buttons and with zero entities for the moment we'll add an entity And save it. So to show you what the result will be we're going to restart a home assistant. Once it's back up you'll see that nothing has changed here that is because we have set it up in our lights view. This means that the buttons that we've added, the add-ons that we've added are inside of the lights view. So let's click on lights view and there you see it. There's a title card which is named buttons that's what we named it here the title is buttons and within that card there is an entity named light dots a little room it means in Dutch <laughs> um, it's basically our office room but it's the smallest room we have so we call it the little room it's my wife's idea uh, anyways uh, we'll continue on um, by default uh, these are uh, placed by three um, but we can change the column size within our stack uh, configuration so for example if I wanted to have two columns it will show uh, slightly larger buttons and we'll add a few lights to show you what that looks like restart a home assistant once again. Once home assistant is back up we can click on the lights again and you can see it has now two columns and we've added four buttons. So what if we wanted to add uh, more like this? So we'll go up to the uh, fuse.yaml file again. Let's create some more uh, buttons like these but have a new stack 
there. So let's say um, switches. I will call this lights. We want two columns once again. And we'll add something like, uh, like so. And restart home assistant again. And once it has restarted again, you can see now there are two stacks, one called lights and one called switches. And this is how you can add add-ons to your views. You can change an add-on or add add-ons just by going to the repo again and click on any add-on that you want to add. If you wanted to add a camera add-on, click on it and you can see there's a title you can set once again, so the stack title and configuration and the amount of columns, so how many cameras would you like to show inside the same stack horizontally. You can change the aspect ratio for all of the cameras at the same time that are defined inside of the add-on and you'll have to define the entities and so on and so on. The same is true for a map, for a plant status. So you can see um, for each add-on there are different configuration variables uh, available. The possibilities are really endless. In some cases you can you can define your add-on as an object and in this case I'm going to show you with the button card. So for example if we define this as an object we can add multiple actions to it. For example if I wanted a different icon for this specific button I can have it. I want a different label hello world or maybe have a lock. True. Sure. So now if I restart Home Assistant it will show those changes. So once it has restarted again we can check out again here. You can see we've got a new um, uh, icon over here and it should have done the label but unfortunately a uh, label can't be changed for lights uh, but you can see there's a lock right there and there are so many things that you can change just by looking here inside of the documentation you can basically change anything uh, and any of the behavior of these buttons uh, by adding or changing the parameters so you can see there's a lot of uh, possibilities here. You can do uh, basically whatever you want. And uh, if you prefer to hide the title, you can just add hide to the title, like so, and like so, and it will hide the title entirely and will just show you the buttons instead. Uh, also, since we're here, we can also remove the welcome message on the front page, like so, save it, restart it. And now you can see that the welcome message is gone. If you click on lights, you can also see that the titles have been removed. One last thing, the order of the cards is decided by the order of your configuration. So let's go back here and add another add-on. For example, we will add this as an add-on. In this case, the map will be rendered first and then the buttons. If we would do it like this, the buttons will be rendered first and then the map. You can change the order of the buttons in this way. And also with inside of the button add-on, these buttons will be rendered first and these will be rendered second. If you change the order, so let's cut this and put them here, now the switches will be rendered first and the lights will be rendered second. Just keep that in mind.
there are more ways to change the layout of your cards uh, by using the layout add-on but that's pretty advanced stuff and we'll keep that to another video that's it for add-ons I hope I made some sense to you uh, since it's pretty difficult to explain this um, and show you but I hope that this made some sense to you and that you will be able to successfully create your own cards and use add-ons in your own views uh, note that you can use add-ons on each view and that includes the home view and the menu view you can change these if you want as well thank you for watching I hope you liked this video and if you did like and subscribe and as always have a nice day cheers <laughs>